let's work on the linear solution for uh, the problem that we have uh, been working on we have looked uh, we have worked on a recursive approach as well as a dynamic programming approach for this problem uh, let's look at the linear solution this is, and this is quite interesting so what i'm trying to do here is so we have we have we have to define two concepts here here ladders and stairs okay so at each index we will get a, 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 a new ladder so at index 0 we get a ladder of size 1 at index 1 we get a ladder of size 4 and at index 3 we get a ladder of size 3 that we get uh, the size of the ladder will be the value of uh, of the element at that index okay so we define ladders and then we define stairs okay the stairs are the number of stairs on that ladder so at that at the index 0 the number of stairs we have is 1 at index 2 we have number of stairs we have are 4 and once we uh, we do that uh, by going along the array okay so we start at 1 we get that uh, ladder we start climbing but we see that the ladder go, uh, gets over and we collect another ladder which is of size 4 we jump onto this ladder so there is that is the first jump that we do and then we start traversing here we reach 3 and at, at this point we get one more ladder which is of size 3 but it's of no use because I already have a have a ladder of uh, a ladder of size 3 which I'm climbing on right so what I do is I just throw it away let's uh, start traversing again so I go go to 7 now here I got Wow, I got a ladder of size 7, right? And then 7 stairs. Ah, I have to keep this ladder. I'll use it later sometime. Okay. And then I again start going to 1. And then I get another ladder. I don't want this. I just throw that away. And then I go to 2. Uh, then I get one more ladder. But I don't want this. I throw that away. But at this point, my current ladder is over. So I have to use a, use another ladder which is which i have stored earlier right so which one was stored so this one right so i jump onto this i jump here and i again start climbing i keep getting ladders but i keep throwing them away because they are not as big enough so at this point i just reach at the end okay so this is the concept so you at at every index you get uh, you collect a ladder keep it if it is large enough enough uh, and throw it if it is small and keep climbing your current ladder if your current ladder is over, use the ladder that you have stored. So that way you can have a linear solution for this particular problem. And here for this example, we have, if you notice, we have done three jumps. So one, two, and three. Okay. So let's look at the code. Uh, the code is pretty straightforward. Just a moment. Okay. So the code is pretty straightforward. Uh, what we do is we keep track of uh, track of the largest ladder that you have at each at each index, and then we also keep track of the stairs in the current ladder that you are climbing. Uh, so we uh, this is the uh, we go through the loop, uh, the, go through the array that is provided, and then at each point we key, we collect the ladder which is uh, which is the largest and then decrement the number of stairs when the stairs are zero we can jump we have to jump to another ladder which which uh, which we have stored and uh, we get the remaining stairs on that ladder okay and we keep doing this and then finally we get the uh, number of jumps if you go through through the code through the code you will understand what i was talking about uh, very clearly uh, give it some time it's uh, it's a pretty straightforward solution and uh, it's uh, it, it's a really it's a really efficient solution uh, thank you